Nevada Supreme Court. Every census, rural counties lose more and more legislators. We have people who re uh, represent people out in Elko, uh, Crescent Valley, if any of you know where that's at, they're driving from Reno, three, four hundred miles to represent people that are voting for them. So I, I think that it's important that the rural counties, I think we're about 20% of the population, I think we deserve some representation in our state government. And I think the Supreme Court with seven seats um, could certainly allow for one rural judge to have some say. Now in terms of a judge in a rural county, all right, I, I drive to work in a 2011 Prius, 44 miles there, 44 miles back. I don't live in a gated community. When I'm at Walmart, I'm standing online with people I've taken away their children, people I've given them their children, people I've put in drug court, people I've put in uh, veterans court, people I've put in mental health court. All right, this isn't theory to me. All right, I affect people's lives. And every morning when I take the bench, I pray for the wisdom of Solomon and the patience of Job. Because I understand everything I do in that courtroom is going to affect people. And that's why I'm asking you to give your endorsement. And more important, if I can't get the endorsement, I'd like your vote. Thank you. All right. Uh, that concludes our candidate interview. Go ahead and bring the clock. For the Justice Supreme Court seat C. Judges, we really appreciate the work that you do, Mr. Lefebvre. I know you do a lot of work in the community. Again, we appreciate all you do in our community. So how about give them another round of applause? <laughs> and uh, I just want to thank our sponsors, Ron Q for Clark County Treasurer, Rio Water, Lakeside uh, Business Suites, and of course, all those that are watching on Facebook, live streaming, and uh, YouTube. So again, thank you so much. Next up is our Las Vegas uh, City Council Special.